It's live on KEXP broadcasting here in Seattle at 90.3 FM and worldwide at KEXP.org and through our free mobile apps. And live sessions like this one are made possible because of listener support and we are so grateful to have the opportunity to make them with the gifts that you give. So thank you very much. If you'd like to make a gift to Power Live Music, you can do so at KEXP.org. And I'm really, really excited to welcome Deeper into the studio with us today. Thank you all all so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, whenever you're ready, take it away. Fighting some solo, realistic sound 
Deeper here in the live room, sounding incredible, playing some jams from the new record, Careful. Thank you so much again for being here today. I feel uh, really excited and honored to, to hear these songs live in person. So thanks for being here. Oh, yeah. Thanks Glad for having us. Yeah. All right. Well, tell me about Careful. You released this new record. It's your third full length release, right? Um, and you right. released it in September. But you've been making music together for years now. Right? Yeah, since yeah. 2015. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know how Deeper began. How'd you start making music together? Like, what's your superhero origin story? Our yeah. origin story <laughs> is uh, the Chicago DIY scene in the 2015s. Yeah, a big snowball of uh, different bands that we were just playing together in different bands. And mm -hmm. as those bands broke up and we kind of like evolved and like grew as musicians, we eventually kind of came together in this format. So essentially, me and Shiraz, like, Every time, like, when Drew's band broke up, we brought him in. And then once Kevin's band broke up, we made him come and join us, too. Yeah, so you stole him. We're kind of just like a, a blob trying to get everybody in there. <laughs> Tell me about the Chicago DIY scene. Like, is it super supportive still to this day? Are yeah. a lot of people still making music that way or, or from Chicago in that yeah. scene? Well, kind of my philosophy on, like, a good music scene, like, one of the kind of key ingredients is cheap rent. You know, mm -hmm. you have to be able to, like... Uh, you know, be able to take risks and it's easier to do that when your rent is a smaller portion of your income. So uh -huh. 
so I think the Philly scene's really good right now. I think that's why the Chicago scene's really good right now. And so, uh, yeah, so it made it a lot easier, I think, for us to kind of, you know, explore and kind of like feel out like, you know, who we are as musicians and, you know, kind of grow that way. So uh, do you still have cheap rent? Because I do like some. <laughs> yeah. oh, you do? OK, yeah, good. I have like a two floor <laughs> apartment in Pilsen and it has like two balconies, just me and my wife, and it's 1500 a month. So yeah. All right, I'm moving in. Yeah, it's pretty it's awesome. Official. <laughs> so this record, that's your first one, was Sub Pop. The sound has evolved mm -hmm. since the last couple. Um, how did this evolution of sound come about? Um, just kind of being forced to be in our, uh, our homes alone during mm. COVID. So we, like, we, we put out our second record, Auto Pain, like the week everything got shut down and uh we're on we're, we were on the road with our, our now label mates corridor at the time and so we just said goodbye to each other and went home mm -hmm. and uh we just kind of didn't want to like give up or just watch tv for you know the extended future that we had no idea how long it would last mm -hmm. so we uh we i had like a little setup and would like kind of shoot demos to uh the guys and then like drew like found out this like just like through like email and then drew found out this thing called splice which we could like send each other like files and actually work on stuff so we all like lived in different parts of the city and just kind of would send each other files on the internet yeah and it just yeah, yeah kind of grew from there yeah and oh no you first please. okay okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think that's like kind of the reason there was maybe like a different like dynamic to this record. I think, uh, yeah, the the limitation of kind of being in our apartments, it's uh, you just kind of approach music differently. And I think for a band who's written multiple records, like, you know, in the practice space, like collaboratively, like uh, this format was a little bit different because we could kind of like uh, hone in on different parts of the songs and really iterate on it until we found like the the perfect way that the like guitars or bass would kind of click together or like when to accentuate the drums and things like that. So, um, yeah. So I think that's kind of why this one might sound a little different than the other ones. Yeah. So. That sounds great. Cool. <laughs> My personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did it take you to make the record? Were you making it like, how long did lockdowns last in Chicago? Did you make it the whole time? I mean, it really take a lot of time to make this one. We, we just like, we had demos for a while and then we recorded it in like August of 2021. Mm-hmm. And then we just kind of sat on it for a long time until we found a home. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we finished it kind of earlier than it was took like three years, but we finished most of it. And then like a, at the end of 2022, we kind of went back in and wrote a few more songs. Yeah. Mm. The like last two songs we played, Sub and, and Bite. Those yeah. were old edition or new editions. Yeah. So you've been sitting with this record for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you feel like um, like the themes of the record or anything have have changed in the time that you've been spending with it? Have listened to it? Have sort of like built it up? We have a, a funny thing that happens whenever we put out a record. Usually, what we are singing about kind of happens in mm. the world. Like uh, Auto Pain was supposed to be like this this dystopian future world, and, uh, and then COVID hit and kind of turned into that. So sounds like The Simpsons, just yeah. predicting the future. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So we're like, we need to make a happy record. We need like good things to start. This was happy. supposed to be the happy <laughs> record, but yes, it please. ended up not it's, being yeah, that one. It's, it's still pretty dark, but that's, that's also like, so. Well, um, I read a quote somewhere that you wanted a two-year-old to be able to jam out to Careful, since it was sort of your take on pop music, but making it more interesting. Have you met any two-year-old deeper fans yet? Well, that was I was talking about my then two-year-old nephew who was in. Mm -hmm. I tried to get him to do a couple of uh, backup vocals in the yeah. studio, but he wasn't really talking much then. So <laughs> is he talking much now? He talks too much now. Yeah, I, uh, I my know. brother sent me a uh, picture of him uh, flicking off the camera. Oh, that's the bird. precious. I don't know if he knows what he's doing, but yeah. it's it's a it's a goal trend. You know, we we learn early. So how old is he now? He's three. Mm, I have a three-year-old. Okay. I'm sure that if you need a deeper fan, you know, in your crowd that's three years old, she'll He's, she'll do the job. He, yeah, I, maybe I they can. Like, I feel like we make children music. Like, we're not yeah. too far off from like the Kelly Tubbies <laughs> yeah. or something like that, yeah. or the Wiggles. <laughs> okay. Well, I've also heard through the grapevine that you may have a hot dog collab. Oh, you yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah. As a person who loves hot dogs deeply. Yeah. Yeah. Tell uh, me about it. 
Uh, I've been hogging the mic. One of you guys do yeah. it. I don't know. Man, I guess uh, we just wanted to pay homage to Chicago. Mm-hmm. So we partnered with this restaurant group and made the Chicago dog called a deeper dog. Uh, threw some fries on there, uh, classic Chicago dog toppings, and uh, paired with a Malort slushy. What's the, what are the classic toppings for a Chicago dog? Tomato, onion, sport peppers, pickles, celery salt, sweet relish. Wow, sounds delicious. Mustard. Poppy seed bun. If you have time while you're here, maybe find a Seattle dog. Have you had one yet? No. What, uh, Dick's? Is that, a, is that a hot dog spot? That is not. That's a burger spot. Oh. It's right down the street, but oh, you should also okay. have that. Okay, yeah, if you're okay. looking for some health food, that's, okay. that's your spot, except the opposite. <laughs> um, no, Seattle dog has cream cheese and onions and Ooh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, don't judge it until you try it. All right, well, so, okay, so you have a hot dog collab. Mm-hmm. You, you're you touring the U- U.S. and Europe. Do you have, I mean, those are all bucket list items, so is there anything else that you're going to do to check off your bucket list? Today, KXP. Yeah, oh, 100% today. Oh, that's yeah. so lovely to of hear. Of course, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's jam-packed fall. So this is kind of, we have two more shows in this tour, and then we get to go home for a second and then Europe. So this is a nice kind of cap to the to the tour, basically. Good. I'm glad. Well, it was really lovely to have you. Thanks again for coming in today and performing for us. I hope you have a good rest of your tour. Yeah, thanks Thank so much. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for listening today and for watching this session. Um, You can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to take a first look at these sessions as they're posted. And remember that sessions like this are made possible because of listener support and viewer support. So if you'd like to make a gift, you can easily online at kexp.org. And when you're watching, you remember that your gift directly affects what you see on YouTube. All right. uh, This has been Deeper, live on KEXP. Discover great music at kexp.org.